Ghost hunting YouTube channel in Russia called Dark Ghost Paranormal says they've caught real video evidence of poltergeist activity on camera while exploring an abandoned house that's haunted. After leaving cameras upstairs to record video evidence, Dark Ghost Paranormal goes exploring in the basement to investigate. For any poltergeist activity, the entrance to the basement has been boarded up like somebody really didn't want anyone to get in, or maybe they were trying to prevent something from getting out, something paranormal. He gets a creepy feeling down here, the basement looks completely demolished, stuff thrown everywhere and so he goes back upstairs. Exploring the haunted basement must have set something free, because it isn't long before the poltergeist is coming to investigate these ghost hunters. Something scary happens behind him. The voice of a little ghost girl comes from a dresser, one that just so happens to be a child's height and is no doubt possessed by the ghost of one. The ghost hunter examines the area for a little bit, and just when he's about to wrap up the paranormal investigation, the scary poltergeist activity picks up again. This angle gives us a better look at how close the dresser is to the wall, way too close for someone to have been hiding behind it. The heavy object is moving by itself, or from a ghost to be more precise, and so he leaves the abandoned house to further rot. While investigating a local legend known as the woman in the abandoned house, KBC Casadores de Fantasmas spoke to the spirit of the woman's father. Using an infrared camera, they see a strange figure. It doesn't appear in the regular camera footage though. While communicating through a spirit box, it sounds like the spirit is saying someone's name. Later, he speaks another name. João, falou certinho. Hilda. Então você conhece a dona Hilda? He then provides this cryptic message. It means this, here for her. The father then has a last message. This translates to, there is a devil for everything. I'm not sure how to decipher these mysterious messages, but it does seem to me like this father should not be trusted. A famous Malaysian YouTuber caught some supremely scary moments on live stream that have left him and all of his followers really freaking out. It's just another normal night at his house, spending time with roommates. When they get an idea to see who is the bravest, they've been suspecting their house was haunted for a long time and dare each other to go room to room with the lights off. The first two rooms are fine, but just when it looks like this was all for nothing, some scary things are caught on camera. <laughs> Standing in the corner of the room is a silent spirit that Malaysian culture refers to as a pokong. A sighting of one of these spirits can be seen as a cry for help. They need to have someone undo their shroud so within 40 days, they can be freed from this world. With that in mind, I really don't blame him for running away instead of running forward. I don't think I would have the courage to undo its binds and withstand the rotten figure beneath. Seeing one in their own home must have been terrifying. A YouTuber named Maximus and his friends are playing with a Ouija board in the shed. At first, they can't stop goofing around for long enough to take it seriously, but as time goes on, they start to concentrate more on the board and less on making jokes. Are you there? Maybe lift your arms up. 
Why? Because it... What? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? No, that was you. Is that not you? No. They laugh wildly to cover up the mounting tension as they realize a ghost might actually be near. Unlike most of the videos, nothing happens for a long time and the pointer stays completely still. They go back to making sarcastic jokes until another event gives them pause. Are you standing next to Frank Tilton? Are you Frank Tilton? When was he born? Stop playing. Stop. Oh my god, no way. That actually like fell. They are still acting like they don't care very much, but they decide to leave the shed just in case something is watching them. There's something about this video and their excitedly skeptical reactions that seems very genuine to me. A famous actress in Indonesia named Leo Wade went viral when she caught these scary moments on her Instagram story. She and her colleagues are all together when Leah sees something that's beyond creepy. Looming over them is a strange shadow figure, an apparition they've never seen. It looks good at first, but here's why I have some doubts about this supposedly real ghost sighting video. The way the apparition is perched perfectly above them makes me think they were generating hype for a movie. The fact that she's an actress makes viral marketing all the more viable of an explanation. They are acting pretty scared and the video is creepy, but keep in mind that they are professionals who get paid to act scared, so doing something like this probably wouldn't be too hard. Even though I'm on the fence with this one, it's still chilling to think about. And as far as a viral video goes, I guess it works well because it certainly got my attention. Do you think it's real or fake? Posted by FootageFinder57 to the found footage subreddit, you'll probably rethink your next camping trip after watching this piece of found footage. A group of people are hanging out around a campfire watching videos on a big screen and chatting. One of them notes that their friend Alexis went to the bathroom and has been gone for a very long time. They decide to investigate. As they're walking through the forest, a scream pierces the night. They start running towards it, shouting out her name. In the middle of the forest, they come across a strange teepee made of logs. When they peer inside, there's a person tied to a tree stump. And then... Whatever four-armed or legged creature has captured Alexis comes after them too. The group screams. The camera is dropped and no more is heard. Redditor Tribal Transfusion 311 pulled a still shot of the creature. This is what we're dealing with. Although the origins of the video are unknown, this found footage is certainly one of the best quality if faked, and one of the most terrifying if not. According to a team of ghost hunters, this house in San Pedro, California has long been haunted by poltergeists who like to open cupboards, throw plates, change television channels, and linger in certain rooms until a mother and her two children felt uncomfortable enough to leave. A lot of events happened before the ghost hunters became involved and therefore were never recorded, but it wasn't uncommon for red liquid to drip from the walls of this haunted home for no explainable reason. Here is a quick clip of this happening in real time before the team's very eyes. Everyone just left except us. Things are starting to drip out of the cabinets. Nobody believes us, but it's happening. There it is. There it is, right there. Um, it's dripping. Eventually, the ghosts drive the mother and her children out of the home, and the ghost hunters volunteer to stay there and investigate for several months. One day, they hear three loud snapping noises coming from the attic and send a man named Barry to investigate. As he later recalls, something was up there waiting for them. Are you okay, buddy? God. Look at his neck. Oh, look, 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 him up. What's behind your neck? I don't know. What's on my neck? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Barry, get down. Barry comes back down distraught and confused. Now missing his glasses, some kind of cord is wrapped around his neck and he insists that something had tried to choke him upstairs in the attic. The investigation was called off not long after out of a concern for the team's personal safety. Is this a party or on the roof?
Well, in this first video, it looks like something just floating there. In the second video, though, it's on the move. Guys. Guys. That's definitely a ghost in my opinion, and it's 500% creepy. Let's just hope this spirit was just looking to party. Kelsey Davies goes exploring an eerie lake in the woods. A strange place that's claimed too many lives not to be haunted. People are getting trapped under the ice here and never coming back. She wants to communicate with their spirits to learn more. It isn't long until they've caught some bizarre paranormal activity on camera for us to analyze. It doesn't look too deep, but you could totally get trapped under the ice, you know? Near the lake, they encounter a revolting smell that makes Kelsey cover her nose. Evil spirits are said to sometimes secrete bad odors if they come nearby, which is why I think it's no coincidence when this happens next. Oh. <laughs> A twig snaps underfoot, and as they huddle close, all eyes looking in the direction where the lake is, a sweeping shadow passes in front of the camera, followed by scary sounds coming from the woods near the lake. <gasps> that sounded like a scream. Yeah, in the distance. Yeah. Was this forest scream the same sound someone once made as they fell through the ice? A final surprise noise they are now doomed to repeat as a ghost, and as they strain their ears in the darkness, more ghost EVPs are caught on camera. Oh. I bet Dude. There's like laughing. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Shortly after, they hear a voice whisper. The camera blurs like a ghost is standing between them. Sounds like someone's up there. Do you want to just whisper? Even though it's never had a problem focusing up until this point in the video, this keeps happening for a full minute and then stops. I'm guessing when the spirit finally walks away, as they go exploring the haunted lake, their paranormal sixth sense is confirmed by extremely bizarre camera malfunctions that are too strange to be a coincidence. Do you want to try the Necrophonic app over here? Oh. Whoa, my camera's like super blurry. It smelled really bad with that. Wait, what? I had a whiff of something really bad. Kelsey's camera goes out of focus at the same time her friend smells a rotting stench walk by, and when it goes away, the camera comes back into focus on its own. Her friend isn't even looking at the camera, so there's no way she could have known to say that. When they discover a discarded pair of sandals nearby, it becomes a clear possibility that they are being led to the site of someone's demise. Look. There's just flip-flops. and as they get freaked out and walk back to their car, it seems as if the party of three has grown one larger. Hopefully. <gasps> what was that? Was that you? Oh, what the f was that? A crumbling cemetery in New Orleans is crawling with restless residents. If this scary sighting is to be believed, at 18 seconds a stone slab lays on the ground as if recently removed. 20 seconds later, this mysterious figure, to use their exact words, is caught on video walking between some tombstones. This could simply be one of their friends, but if not, then seeing a random person while exploring an abandoned cemetery is really bizarre and also more than a little creepy. They are unable to get the figure on video again and so they leave. It's 3 in the morning when a YouTuber named QTube hears a knock at his door. He begins recording for his own safety and debates whether or not he should even look outside. Whoever knocked must have immediately ran away and left a package for him to open, which he soon does. 
I was half expecting some kind of rigged device or something like that, but what's really inside is just as weird. If this video is to be believed, then someone woke up QTube in the middle of the night for no other reason than to give him a pizza box with a gummy pizza inside. It's either the work of someone with a bizarre sense of humor or else totally insane. The whole event leaves QTube cautious and confused. Prank or not, he doesn't exactly seem thrilled about being the target of someone in the middle of the night, and I can't say I blame him. Let me know if you think this was just a harmless joke, or if the next home delivery is going to be much worse. Sophie Dosi is a talented contortionist, with a twisted sense of humor so to speak. Here she does a crab walk backwards at top speeds, with her head barely hanging above the floor. This is a really creative, ingenious way to scare people that I've never seen done before, but I can't help but think it's a little dangerous too. I mean, if she steps on her hair while walking like this, her neck could snap all the way back. Maybe I'm just exaggerating, but I think I see it almost happen multiple times as she races down the aisle, which adds a whole new level of fear to the overall situation. A TikTok video gets really creepy when some scary moments are caught on tape. A ghost opens the door, or at least that's what this scary TikTok moment was, according to Shimei57, who is sitting on the floor of her apartment when someone enters unannounced. I don't hear any footsteps after the door opens, no bags getting put down, so maybe it was a ghost after all, but the scariest moment of all is yet to come. The laughter of a little ghost girl seems like it's coming from up close, and the creepy TikTok video abruptly ends. Either something paranormal has entered her house, or this video was edited to make it appear to be haunted. I think this video could be paranormal, but more evidence is needed to help me make a final decision. A YouTuber named Nick Soup is barefoot water skiing when suddenly he finds one of the handles wrapped firmly around his throat. Look again in slow motion and you'll see exactly how this one a million scenario unfolds. The handle drops into the water, shoots back into the air, and wraps perfectly around Nick's throat like a noose. Thinking fast, he rips the handle over his head while still hanging on. Had he let go and fallen into the water, he would have been dragged by the neck at high speeds. A weird human-like creature stands motionless when caught on camera in the forest. It's not a person wearing red makeup because the arms are exceptionally thin. It could be a special effects prop. The red figure never moves, so I have trouble believing this creature sighting is real. If I'm wrong, then this video shows why the woods of Indonesia are one of the scariest places in the world. Having this thing stare at you in the forest would be beyond creepy. Some haunted places are meant to be left alone. The old Washoe Club in Virginia City, Nevada is one of them. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by I'm the Cat Daddy. This video footage explores the Washoe Club in one of the nation's first industrial silver mining cities of the Old West. Prospectors arrived during the mid to late 19th century in order to stake their claim, and with money came the need to spend it. That's where the old Washoe Club came in, also known as the Millionaire's Club. This was a place where anything goes, with one main entrance and two secret entrances to keep the VIP's secret shenanigans under wraps. The Washoe Club also doubled as a holding cell for the passed away. At least one room did as passed on individuals were placed there until grave diggers were able to properly bury. With such a sordid history, of course, myths and legends are abound. Three ghosts are said to haunt the place. A blonde apparition called the Lady in Blue haunts a spiral staircase. A small ghost girl is somehow lost there. And lastly, a prospector causes trouble around the bar, disappearing drinks that are left unattended, and drinking the shots that the bartenders leave for him when they close for the night. This video doesn't show these full-bodied apparitions, but does unveil a paranormal incident. As the Redditor explains, he and some army buddies decide to explore the Washoe Club for paranormal activity. He writes, We were told by a few ladies who ran an occult store in Sparks, Nevada, to look out for a dark entity named Steve. He apparently likes to close doors in a room called the Red Room. 
Though not in this video, during an EVP session in the club, they asked for a name and received Steva in response, and that wasn't the ghost's only response as one of the bros provokes the ghost and asks it to answer them. A nearby door starts to close on its own. The men start screaming and flee the scene. The Redditor says they all felt Steve's presence in the club, and he continued to slam doors as they collected their gear. They also felt their jackets being tugged on and a finger ran up one guy's back. I was thinking you probably shouldn't provoke a ghost like this, and many in the comments agree with that statement, while others who also investigated the club attest to similar paranormal happenings there. Is this place next on your paranormal bucket list? I think I'm gonna stay very far away from this place. We've all heard about miracles, but sometimes you just gotta see to believe. So let's see. A Dimensional Paranormal published this video in August of 2016, writing in Spanish, recorded by a person in the chapel of the Saltillo Cathedral in Mexico. The clip opens on the inside of a dark chapel with only a few candles lit and some low lights surrounding the statue above an altar. Low church chanting can be heard in the background. At first glance, a close-up of the statue appears to reveal nothing out of the ordinary. But upon closer inspection, the closed eyes of a statue glare open eerily. Watch it again. Did it give you chills? Is this a miracle or something else? You decide. Personally, I think it'd be hard to fake with the camera moving so much, which makes me think it's real. Bob Osborne flies down a bumpy mountainous road in Bolivia. With little concern for his health or safety, the seven-minute downhill race is filled with large rocks like this one. He navigates the obstacle just in time. Look how slow this van is driving. That's the appropriate speed for such a treacherous road, yet it's quickly passed. Keep in mind this vehicle could easily kick a rock straight into their dirt bike at any time and send them careening to their doom. They eventually make it to the bottom of the mountain still in one piece. I just hope Bob Osborne performs regular maintenance on his bike because this looks like the type of road that could snap a tire clean off at any time. A YouTuber named Faster Than Pasta is experimenting with a homemade Ouija board and manages to contact a 44-year-old spirit named Simon. Simon doesn't appear to be very happy about being summoned and interrogated by some kids so he spells out his displeasure. Uh, do you want to be friends? Um, we're so, we're so sorry. Less than 10 minutes later, Faster Than Pasta begins to look different and feel strange. She looks at her hands as though they are foreign objects, and then her head goes down. Her knees give out and she falls to the ground, woozy. When she recovers, she looks over at her friend Jimmy only to discover that now he is the one acting strange. It seems as if Simon the Spirit is switching between both of them at will. Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, what, what are you doing? What happened? Eventually, Jimmy too passes out with absolutely no recollection of what happened upon waking. Tell me if you think they are really getting possessed or just acting. Parts of this video look pretty convincing, but I can't say for sure. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.